Sheet metal was my livelihood, but I never thought I'd be building gear like this. Every week, we turn tons of steel into rolling works of art. Some of the toughest gear in the world comes out of this factory. Building this gear is only half the fun. No one tests like we do. My passion has taken my family to the edges of the earth. Life's a game. We know how to play it. Patriot Games. The crew is still pumped from pulling up to the new store yesterday and seeing that Patriot Campers sign up top. After a few solid hours work at the new store, the team has stepped out for a few hours so they can take in as much of the city as they can before heading into the country in just a few days. This morning we've come down to the Ladan Toll Markets. It's a black market here right in the centre of Ulaanbaatar. This is the biggest market in Ulaanbaatar and this is how all the local people live. You can actually buy girls down here, which is the huts where they live in, and obviously clothing and all the rest of it. First initial thoughts, it's like Carrara markets on the Gold Coast, but on steroids. Are we going to buy anything today? Look, I'm not really sure. There's a few things that uh, specifically some of the crew want for the trip. I know that the, boy, the boys are talking about swords and new livers and things like that, but we'll see how we have it. We'll see what we can find. Do you want a weightlifting belt for lifting weights when you go to the gym? Come down here. Come and have a look at this. This, this is exactly what you need. Come on. Come here. Turn around. Turn around. So this is what? We're doing squats and working out uh, squats. See if this fits you. We'll get it in here and squats. Oh, see how it feels. Come on, give it a go. You've got to see how it feels, otherwise you're not going to know how it works. Well, you don't want to wait with me, though. Come all the way to Mongolia and you want a handbag. <laughs> Just like your mum, huh? We've got to put this back to this trouble. We'll, we'll hang this back. It doesn't fit. But thank you anyway. Yeah, we should try to find the... The, the riding boots, oh. like the real Mongolian one, yeah? Oh, that would be awesome. Yeah. Your riding boots? Yeah? It will take about two years to break in, yeah? Not two days? Nope. <laughs> Justin asked, asked us to get some, like, riding, riding stuff, riding boots, and for the horses, like, the saddles and everything. So we're going to go and check it out, yeah? That's a boot. That's a boot. Try it on, yeah? Try Can we on. try it on? And it's got the... Um, you know what I, I'm, is that the most gang i'm yeah, getting them so cool. that size is i reckon the size is perfect yeah yeah are you sure that that will fit in the stirrup of the horse yeah of course that's a wide boot mm. they're perfect Matt, what do you reckon Mate, they're perfect <laughs> <laughs> they suit you they suit the beard Tell me that isn't the most badass looking thing. I didn't come here to buy boots today, but you know what? If we're gonna, we have something in store. We've got a plan in store that we're gonna go out on horseback into the snow. And if that comes to fruition, and look, to be honest, 200,000, you're looking at $100, 100 Australian dollars. Um, I don't think I'll use them back in Australia, but they're pretty cool. Hey, Dad, can I borrow some money? Yeah. <laughs> Just the kids. It doesn't really matter how old you get, you know, there's, there's, you, your parents are obliged to do some things for you in your life, like like feeding me and clothing me. It never stops. It just doesn't <laughs> stop. The older they get, the more it costs. Lucky. I like you. You got me in a good mood today. <laughs> Old, old style ones, yeah. What's What would be like traditional? That's pretty cool. One second. So like a Russian one. From that the looks eight, legit. 18, 1879 from Russia, yeah. yeah. Are they all? I think this one, you put it in the like in front of the Kalashnikov. In the, in, yeah, in front of the gun, yeah. yeah. But these would, all be these would all be copies, right? Probably, yeah. Yeah, they'd all be copies. No, I don't think anything would be real. But still, that looks pretty cool. Yeah. 
That'd be like a traditional knife? Yep. Yeah, okay. And what's, do you know what sort of bone that is or whatever? Yeah, probably from the, from the cow. Yeah? Yeah. That's pretty cool. What about the one with the horse hand, uh, handle? This one here. That'd be like Mongolian. Yes. Yeah. That's more of a shiv. Yeah. 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 You, you can like, yeah. Put it, put it, put it inside the boot. Yeah. Yeah. And pull it out of your boot and put it in someone's neck. <laughs> <laughs> Genghis would have done that. Yep. He went more than once. Yeah. That's nice. Nepal. Oosh. Oosh. That's cool. That's menacing. Oh, that is menacing. Yes. That is like, I'm here to hurt somebody. <laughs> That's what that says. That's, um, check out this sort of stuff. So this is obviously from Nepal. We're not, we're not really sure whether this stuff's um, real or whether it's like, um, obviously fake, but that's, that's pretty menacing sort of knife. I think to me, it made the right call on that. But heaps of really, really cool stuff down here, right? Eh? I don't have any money, man. Mango didn't have much Mango didn't have much of this. Is this actually a saddle? Yeah. Is it a toy? Or is that a, is that a toy? No, no, no. Come on, man. Line. Come on. Wait, that's actually a saddle. That's actually a saddle. Yeah? yeah. Mango didn't have are we going to be wrong? No, I don't think so. This one. Look at that. One dollar. Hey, 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 hey. Did it, did it! Oh, it's not a tank. Hey, 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 hey. 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 Oh, the girls are down there. Mm -hmm. Jack? 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 So we've just been told we've got to get out of here. Obviously, old mate that um, just started that little bit of trouble before. There's a whole group of them kind of getting all together up there. Um, so to me, it's just guiding us out and the kids out of the markets, just in case, obviously, it's a safety precaution. We don't want, we're not over here to start it. We want to ensure that everybody stays safe. So we're just going to slip out the back door of the market. It looks like there was a few guys back there that got um, a little bit upset with the cameras and us being around, so Tamir's grabbed us all and said we should be heading off now. How'd you go? Okay? Yeah? Every, everything good. Everything's good? Yeah? yeah. yeah. You, you, no problem. You got everything sorted? Yes. Sir. On your own? Yes. Sir. One man. Yeah. You're my Genghis Khan. <laughs> <laughs> all right? You, you, you are now my Genghis Khan. <laughs> Protector. All right. Let's get out of here before we start any more trouble, huh? Okay. Yeah? It's time to leave the city behind in search of some cultural sites on the outskirts of Ulaanbaatar. The crew has heard a lot about Mongolian history over the last few days, and now is the time to observe. Go, guys. What is this place to me? Something to do with religion, yeah. Religion, it's just yeah. the shamanism one that you're yeah. talking about? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. And we got a guide. Yeah. 
so this is a sacred, sacred tree that you guys uh, come and um, pray yeah. yeah and ask for um, you know greatness yeah okay. and then there's uh, 24 um, different um, symbols that represent uh, the religion and everything right yeah. which is all these all of these, all these posts parts. yep yeah okay we're inside of a 13th century Ger, and this is how people would have lived back in uh, the day. Every single one of these has got a different representation for the religion of, of shamanism, as they explained to us before. But what's really exciting is to see uh, the kids getting to see this firsthand and what this country, this culture is all about. Obviously, the amount of history inside each one of these, you know, little things like where people used to sleep, men and women on either side, and the different sort of dress and all the rest of it. This, this is something they ain't going to see in a school book. It's, this is exciting. You imagine a whole family in here. This is hardcore in winter. Outside, snow, ice, nasty. Let's go to the next one. This one feels more manly than the others. I've never seen anything like this, nor do I think I ever will back at home. This is a really cool experience. Oh, this one's cool. This one's cool, huh? Ah, oh, they had some money in here. Can you imagine, um, can you imagine actually living in this? In Australia, we only have 200 odd years of culture. We're a, we're a very new country. You know, here we're standing in, a, in somewhere that someone would have slept 900 odd years ago. And it's just amazing to think that the kids get to have this experience, you know. Out filming Patriot Games is not all about, you know, the gear and the boggings. There's, there's more behind it now with the kids. When we get the opportunity to come to a place like this, we want to ensure that they're getting the most value out of this once in a lifetime opportunity. Those gears are something else, but there's no time to waste. I smell lunch. Who's excited for lunch? Who's hungry? Yeah, I'm starving. All right, let's try it, guys. It looks good. It does look hot, actually. Mm. Is it really hot? No, it's not that hot. It's nice, though. Yum. To me, it's showing us around a little bit of the culture. We've come out to this old um, 13th century village to have a meal in a traditional sort of hut, and there's a heap of dress-up gear, and the kids are just mucking around. You can see here, I'm kind of, I don't know who I think I am right now, but I, I feel like I looked the part. That's good, huh? That's, it must be lamb, right? Beef. Beef? Is it beef? Yeah. We are out, out here in a remote lo location currently just eating lunch. It's amazing. This is our first Mongolian meal and they seem to eat a lot of, uh, lot of lamb and a lot of beef. Um, there were these deep fried pancakes which, with lamb and beef inside, which were awesome. And then a really plain sort of noodle soup, again with lamb and beef. And it seems uh, to be like um, it's, it's a real protein rich sort of diet. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I need a hat too. <laughs> Damn, man. Oh, jeez, that's so... Do I, look oh, like I'm... Do I look like I'm not warm? <laughs> it would be hard riding a horse like this. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> be awesome. Awesome. Don't worry warm. about that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, get a photo, Danny. Just painting a little bit of fancy dress up in a Mongolian girl. I'm, I'm Bobby's wife. He's in the, the ladies' outfit. Mm. You can tell by how short it is. Hang on, let the emperor in. <laughs> <laughs> you are the servants. Oh, this, is the, this is the official. Right, move, move down. This isn't all the bodyguards out there. Hang yeah. on, the emperor's going in the middle. There's another box out there. I keep losing my Dude. wolf. Well, pass me a box, Matt. Of course. Hey, Barbie. Hello. What's going oh. on? Where's Mia? That's Where are you going to get dressed up, darling? Where is she? Mia. Oh, oh. here we go. Oh, here Yanni. comes our swordsman. Yeah. <laughs> That's gangster. Is he a sword? That looks yep. really good. You look good. There you go. Oh, yeah, 
Oh, you look so good. Yeah, that looks awesome. This is incredible dress up, buddy. We are very authentic costume at the moment, and we feel the part too. Pretty good. I mean, look at them. They're very nice and colourful, yeah? <laughs> That's a wrap on lunch. And now it's time to return to the task at hand, getting the new store up and running for opening day. Justin and Tamir have just one last thing they need to pick up to make this opening perfect. And then, um, so um, left up here, and yeah. then just keep on going straight, 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 straight. Okay. Yeah. Is there anything we can jump for? <laughs> That was crazy. I've done a lot of, lot of things in my time. You know, Patriot Games has taken me to do some stuff that I never normally do. And as, even as insignificant as it may seem, driving a Polaris Ranger through the capital city of Mongolia, Ulaanbaatar, um, that's the way it should be. It should be exactly like that. Oh my. It's load up day and we've come round to Bayara's house to pick up the TH470. Uh, we're going to put the Polaris on the back of the TH470 uh, for this trip. Happy there? Happy there. And then uh, just take these bolts off and then it's ready yep. to go. Pull that handbrake. Okay. Now this is really about to get interesting. I think I know my way back to the shop. Um, Tamir's been so accommodating for us. He, he hasn't left our site the whole time. He hasn't even seen his family, his young son. I'll let him spend some time with them. I'll go get lost, maybe pulled over, <laughs> we'll see. This is gonna be interesting. I'll, I'll make my way back there. Can't be that hard, right? Rise and shine, Patriots. Today's gonna be a busy day. With the new store opening its doors tomorrow, there's a whole lot of work to do. Let's gather the troops and get it done. So we gotta put all the trailers in, maybe like just clean up a little bit of the, the dust and everything, yeah? And then we start putting everything in, you know, put, put all things together and make it look nice and, and, yeah. and perfect for the, for the guests to come, yeah? Here we are, the big day. The grand opening is gonna happen today for Patriot Campus Mongolia. Now, there's still a lot to be done. All the gear has just turned up, the trucks, the trailers. Um, we've got a little bit to do, get everything washed down. Everybody's got a job. I think Tamir's really organized with uh, the way that he wants it, he's got his uh, his vision, so we'll get into it, we'll get it done. Seven hours till launch, um, it's gonna be a big day. You two, today, are working for this guy, yep. okay? You work for him like you work for me in the factory. Yep. Your job minimum is- Minimum wages. Minimum wage. <laughs> it's like, what, 120 a month or something like that? <laughs> no, 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 not that though, yeah. <laughs> okay, so these, uh, to me, we'll handle outside, everything that's going on out there. Me and your mum are going to concentrate on the show. Room. Yeah, right? I think that's let's a good get, idea. Let's get this done. Yeah. Cool? Okay, cool. What an exciting feeling. So, so exciting to see everybody so involved in opening up a new store in another country from an Australian made product. Brilliant. Run me through your vision. So, so X1H at the front. Exactly. Yeah. And then X1 over here. Okay. All like the tent and everything like. Right. This one we can like put up, take out the kitchen. Yep. And then leave it as it is like this. Are you picturing the, obviously the kitchen this way uh -huh. on the X1? So kitchen this way, tent that way? Or I was thinking of tent this way. And kitchen towards the window? Yeah. Okay, yeah? You good with that? Yeah, I reckon that'll look good. Yeah. You want a visual from the street, so. Okay. Mm -hmm. Things are starting to come together, but the production line has really slowed down. Hard at work there, guys. Oh, you want me to put my like once, once we hose it down and then like yeah. wipe it off. Yep. Where are they? It's in the back seat. Okay. Yeah. 
quickly. So after that car's washed, the wheel caps are in the back. Put them on. Mm -hmm. After this car's washed, the wheel caps are sitting on the back seat. Mm -hmm. Put them on. Sweet. Okay. On the yep. Okay. When that car is in, in wash, the the caps are on the back seat and these tools and these bolts put the caps on that car. Yeah? Alright. There you go. These are for the um caps on the pickle rims on the white super tour, that's your job. What? <laughs> <laughs> With only a few hours left in the day, the showroom is really starting to look the part. Yeah, we're starting to look good. So we're just getting the Darchi tent uh, set up on top of the X2, and it's um, we've actually got everything in here, which is really cool. So X2, X1H. Uh, standard X1, we decided to put the Super Tourers in the room next door. Everybody's into it, everyone's working. It's, it's coming together good. It's, like, uh, it's, it's actually like getting like a lot better than what I expected like in the beginning. It's really amazing to think that we've brought all of these Australian brands over to Mongolia with us, you know, and these are all the guys that get behind us and support uh, Patriot Games. Obviously, TJM, you know, X-Ray, Red Ark, Talk It, Darchi. It's, it's, it's surreal. It's quite a, a surreal feeling. These are all Australian companies that support Australian manufacturing that all started exactly in the same place that Patriot Campers did. So, look, to bring everybody over here with us, um, to have the support of everybody who's behind the company, and now, given that little bit back, given an introduction to all these brands into Mongolia at the Patriot Campers store, it's, it's an amazing, amazing feeling. And I'm so proud to be an Australian manufacturer. Next time on Patriot Games. Crowds are rolling into the new Mongolian showroom and the crew is pumped for a massive day. With the grand opening complete, the crew sets off on their greatest adventure yet into the wild Mongolian countryside. And the crew learn how to repel insects the Mongolian way. And it isn't what you'd expect.